A good friend of mine gave me uh, this little graphic which stands on my desk. It simply says, God alone. And it's the same two words that are above the gate at Gethsemane Trappist Abbey in Kentucky. And it speaks to the absolute claim that God has on us. So once we are grasped by uh, the immensity of God's love for us, once we realize that God is everything for us, and that our life apart from him makes no sense at all, then we want to live for him and with him completely. That in a very real way, our Christian faith demands a totality of response. That we can't simply give 50% or even 98% of our life to God and, and hold something back. That, that God has completely given himself to us in Christ and, and such an enormous offering of redemption and grace uh, demands an equal response, a, a total response. And it speaks to uh, two of the simple parables that Jesus speaks to us in Matthew chapter 13, beginning with verse 44. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Those two parables speak to us of that mystery, that once we have been grasped by the Lord, we, we gladly give our all for the sake of being in relationship with him and showing our love for him. So we can never be stingy with the Lord because he is never stingy with us. We can't measure out our response to him because he never measures his action to us. So love asks for love in return. And even though my puny little heart cannot love as God loves, St. Bernard reminds us that there's nothing lacking when everything is given. So even uh, think of a thimble, think of a 50-gallon oil drum. They hold different amounts of liquid, obviously, but when they're filled to their capacity, um, they're, they're full and they've reached their potential. So it is with God and us. God's love is infinite. Mine is very finite. And yet when I love as generously and sacrificially as I can God and other people, then I am most like the Lord. And so we, we ask that we can put into practice these parables, that the Lord is the buried treasure. The Lord is the pearl of great price. And we give our all for the sake of attaining the salvation given to us in Christ.